What's up, everybody? HG the Hulk coming at you. Guys, I told you I was going to do it for you guys. And here it is, guys, the comparison video. This is the original NT48. I don't have a point three, so uh, but I do have the original one. So we're going to do a comparison in case some of you out there want to know what is the difference. Um, you know, I'll try my best, guys. I've only been, like I shared in some of my videos, I've only been doing it for two years now. Or actually, it won't be two years until May. So I don't have a lot of knowledge, but I'm learning fast, guys. Come a long way in two years. Um, um, I did used to do RC cars 20 years ago. In one of my videos, I shared that, and uh, that was a uh, Nitro 20 years ago HPI Savage Monster Trucks. Um, but then I took a long break and a long break, and now I've been back for like I said, two years in May. But uh, here we go, guys. Those of you who've been following my videos and following what's been going on with HG the Hulk. Well, here it is, guys. Um, you know that I'm a big techno fan. I love techno. I almost have all the techno cars. Uh, <clears throat> there's my MT410. Um, there's my ET. Well, let me take you for a tour real quick. Those of you who are just tuning in, there's my ET48.3. Um, there's my boxes of all the cars me and my son have got together. There's my other ET48.3. Guys, I've done a lot of videos on that car. Um, there's my son's fleet. And here's my electric ET48 2.0. If you've been watching, you, uh, you've you seen that I've picked up an EB48 2.0. There'll be some videos on that coming soon. And then we have an NB48 2.0. So I believe I have all the A skills. Um, all the a scale techno cars i have them all and i'll be lord willing planning a trip uh to run them all and get into racing and a scale racing and i still do the 10 scale as well but those are put away i'll have to shoot another video for those another day but anyways let's get back to what this video is about it's about a comparison so there's the body difference right off the bat this was a big controversy uh, uh, when this came out a year ago or two years ago. or No, it's a year ago. Uh, the big body thing. This is the old original body that uh, Techno had on the NTs. And then if you wanted, a lot of guys run the J-Concept body. You could do that. And I've even, I've even ran the J-Concept body on it. And it's awesome too. But to me, Techno is the the uh the techno man it's they're all good all three bodies are awesome if you're gonna be bashing if you're gonna be jumping if you're gonna be sending it not so much worried about racing guys if you're not gonna be worrying about racing so much then you're gonna want to go with this body you can you can uh, okay let's peel the bodies off boom we're gonna peel the bodies off we're gonna set them over here let's get the bodies take this one off boom let's set it over here whoop and we're going to move this body out the way as well. Boom. Okay. So, if you don't want to run this body, this truck body, you can lift these, uh, uh, unscrew the screws, and mount them up top. And you can run, if I'm not mistaken, I'm almost, yeah, see, there it is right there. There's the answer to your question. You can mount these up here and run either the J concept body or the techno body. And if you're going to be bashing and sending it and cause you're going to make mistakes when you start bashing, that's just the way it goes. That way you'll protect your shock towers and you'll protect your, uh, your, uh, your shocks. In fact, let's see if, uh, well, let's just see. I wonder if the antenna is in the same. Let's just see guys. We're going to do this together right now. I haven't even done this. So, we're gonna do this right now on camera. Okay, so the antenna's not lining up. So that's different. But you can cut the antenna hole wherever you want. So 
So to answer your question, guys, yes, you can throw that body on. You're just going to have to cut the antenna hole different. You're going to have to do some cutting. But it'll go on there. It'll go on there. Okay. So now, we've talked about the body. Um, let me see. Should I spin this around? Let's spin it around like so. Boom. There you go. There's that look. There's that. Gas tank looking a little different. See that? Gas tank looks different. Let's look at this gas tank. It's got the... But again, this is the NT48. This ain't even the point three. Okay, we know these are different. Let me get the wrench and I'll take the tire off right now. And uh, I'll show you what's different. Uh, let's keep going. Let's look at the trays. Okay, the servo mounts there. Uh, the, this whole tray changed a little bit, guys. Let's check it out. Look at it. It did, see? The circle kind of still mounts in the same spot. Um, that looks like it could be the same, just a little different. But this is different. See where your switch is and the way your wires run and your receiver pack goes back here versus right here. The receiver pack was right after the battery receiver pack and then your servo and this linkage is different okay again but this is the nt so the even the point three linkage is even different than that so check it out the linkage oops look at the body hits i gotta trim that i haven't ran it with the body on i've ran it down the street a few times but not with the body on um Okay, let me get the wrench and I'll take the tire off. Let's go get the techno wrench. Where's it at? Da, 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 da. There it is. Okay. And let's see what we got here. So that looks like so. Okay, let's look at this one. See if I can do this holding you guys. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold and take the tire off. Ah, okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. Is that? All right. So there's that part that's aluminum there. Look at that. Take a good look at that, huh? Let's go over here. See the difference? On the original NT, showing you guys the difference there. And then the rear, let's take the tire off this one. Oh man, I put the tires on tight. situated here guys boom let me straighten it out okay so there's that on the nt 48 2.0 okay now let's look at the nt 48 so you can see the differences there and if you can't tell it's it's it's, it's hard to tell but there's they're different look at the way that's built and look how this one's tall, see? So they are, there's a lot of little differences that they've done. And it's awesome to have the original one. It is so cool, I'm so blessed, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let me spin this guy. Okay, now look at this, the sway bar situation back here, okay? These things always pop off. Even on my electric one, they, they were doing that. I ended up upgrading these to the aluminum ones or to the metal ones. So I'm going to do the same thing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe you guys could tell me. Maybe I got it too tight. I don't know. But they always seem to pop off. So anyways, that's on the newer one. Look at the shock. Towers are different. It's completely different. Look at this shock towers. See? And the way they ran the sway bars on the old car, they attached different completely different versus the way they attach here 
Now to service the dips, it's pretty simple. One, two, you take that bumper off. One, two, and out. Boom, simple to get to the diffs right away, guys. These ones took a little bit more time. The other cars took time to get to the diffs. Um, let's look at the front. Same setup as the rear. This one, you just got a, these two little screws and then you can get to the front sway bar. Look at the bumpers. Bigger, smaller bumper. Um, and I want to say the A-arm, the geometry of the A-arm, guys, is completely different now. Well, totally different from the, the geometry of the the original. Completely different. Let's look at it from up top. The big old, the filter, they went away with this filter and they went to uh, the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the more of a buggy, I guess, style filter. Um, but yeah, guys. Look at the wings. The wings are different too. See the wings? Different. Mm -hmm. the chassis is different this is the narrow chassis this one's got the wider chassis see how wide it is narrow um let's see yeah this whole filter setup and to get to the the whole diff and all that is completely different from this guy <clears throat> this guy is, I believe, just like the NB48. In fact, let me pull this off. Boom. Pull that off. I think I did this already in the video, but see how easy that is? Of course, you got to zip tie it so it doesn't pop, pop off on you, but it's pretty simple to work on it. Versus this one, again, it's all, they're all easy. But just some are faster than others. This one you got to take that screw out <clears throat> and then you can pull it out and get to it. Guys, let me put my pin back in so I don't forget. And I have been running this thing up and down the street and I will charge up the GoPro. I got to get you guys a video of some runtime on it. But yeah, guys, this is what we got. This is the... The old school and the new school. Oh, man. So, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. You know, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, but, man, you can't go wrong with techno, guys. Loving the techno kits. They are awesome. Let's get the bodies back on. Oh, man. So... Let's see. Yes, guys, I am going to, at some point, I think I'm going to go with that techno motor. Just got to, I just got to get situated and get that dialed in. Just, I just got to make it happen, guys. I just got to make it happen. When you want to do something and you put your mind to it, you'll get it done. And I just haven't buckled down and got it. But I will. I will, guys. I'll get it. I'm going to get the techno motor. Sorry for so close. But I'm just trying to get the body back on. Boom! There it is. Oh, that looks nice. And I love both of these bodies. So, this is the original NT48 body. Check it out. Oh, that looks sick. Now, those of you who don't know... HG the Hulk is either all green or green and purple, but my Uncle Bobby, who passed away um, in October, last October, that's him right there, BP Racing. We're going to be, uh, I'm going to be running orange all the time now for honor of him, and, and, and so I'm mixing in the green and the orange. I don't know if I'll bring back the purple. Maybe one day I will with maybe some black, but for now, I'm just doing green and orange. Um... 
in honor of my uncle Bobby. Um, but yeah, so that's how it looks with the NT48 body. Let me throw the J Concepts body on. See, so you guys could get the look of that. Concepts body. Oh, even the J Concepts body looks sick. You know what I mean? So the J Concepts body are tougher. They've got a thicker plastic. So they can take more of a beat down. If you're going to just be bashing your uh, uh, your NT uh, uh, 48 2.0. Because you can't get the original NTs. They're hard to find. You can. If you look on eBay, you can find a used one. You can. You just got to look. But, uh, uh, um... If, if you end up getting the spending the money getting the newer one, you can't put this body on and make it work. Um, you just got to, you know, you just got to cut your holes. But it'll work, guys. It'll fit on there. So if you're going to be bashing it and racing it, um, you want to go with the the, the J Compsis body. Um, now, if you're going to just be racing it, but you still don't want to... I mean, you could go with either or the J Constance body or the Techno body, which I think you're going to always be faster, in my opinion. This is my opinion. After owning these cars and driving them, you're always going to run faster times with the Techno body because the cars are designed with the with the Techno body. I mean, your, your aerodynamics, you're going to do faster lap times, in my opinion. Guys, this is just my opinion with the Techno bodies on it. Um... Me, this car is going to just be strictly on the track. I'm not bashing it. There's no need to bash it at all. So strictly, I'll be strictly racing this on the track. So I will run that body. This one, I'm just going to be for around the house. Because um, I'm not, there's no need to take this out to the track anymore. I have this one. But I love techno. I, I'm going to collect all of them at some point. I think I almost have all of them. Except for I need to get the short course. I need to get the short course and... I think that's it i think i have a uh almost all of them uh so anyways um that's what we got going on guys again you can't go wrong with either one with either one if you can find one of these on ebay and you want to go nitro go for it get it i think you can find them for like 300 bucks but just the chassis, you know, no, no wheels, no nothing. They're not even rollers, they're just chassis for like 300 bucks. And then you can decide what you want to do. Or if you save your pennies and go for the new one, whoo, man, you can't go wrong with the new one. So anyways, guys, I hope this is uh, helpful. If anything, I hope you guys enjoyed it, had fun, laugh, uh, enjoy life, drive RC, and uh, we're planning a trip to Beaumont, guys. So hopefully we'll see you out there. And yeah. All right, guys. This is HG the Hulk over and out.